So what made you want to join Star Wars and play Captain Phasma? Oh, good Lord. What wouldn't make me want to join Star Wars and, and play Captain Phasma? I had loved Star Wars since I was first shown it. I think I was around six years old when my family showed it to me. And I fell in love with the film. There were so many unusual elements, things that I didn't feel I'd seen before in other films. Uh, I remember even at that very young age, seeing uh, Princess Leia and being so uh, uh, in a state of rapture due to her strength, her wit, her determination, and thinking, that's unusual. I don't really see women like that in the things that I watch, even at that very young age, and thinking, I like it, and I like her, and I want to be like her. Um, that was, you know, I was thinking back about this recently, that was quite a significant moment. Um, I also remember saying, when I was very little, I want to be in a Star Wars film, and being told, well, they don't make them anymore. And so when I heard that they were making them again, this was happening again, and that J.J. Abrams would be directing, I wanted to be in it more than anything. I'd really loved Super 8. I'd really loved what J.J. did with the Star Trek movies. I just felt like this beloved series of films, that this would be in, in safe hands. And I really wanted to work with J.J. So when I heard that they were they were going to be casting for the films. I was just like a dog with a bone. I would not let it go. And I went on and on and on about it. For probably about six months, I went on about it until finally, probably someone just was like, gave in, had enough, couldn't take it anymore. And, uh, and I was lucky enough to get a meeting. And after that, uh, when I found out fully about the character and about what the costume was and what this character truly was, mm -hmm. then I was so excited. Right. And I felt that it was such a modern idea to have, Captain Phasma is Star Wars' first on-screen female villain, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the idea that there is a female character who is encased in armor, and we for primarily form a relationship with her due to her actions, and her character, rather than the way she has been made flesh, was very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And for there to be a woman depicted in that way in a Star Wars movie felt truly progressive to me. And I realized quite how lucky I was. Absolutely. How did you approach bringing both femininity and power to the role while wearing a face covering Stormtrooper helmet? Well, I didn't really think about bringing femininity to the role. I thought about the character, what the character was, um, their, the list of characteristics, things that made up who the character was, uh, their actions, what other people said about the character, what the character said about themselves. Um, and what I did focus on was that I knew because there's so much costume that went, what went on below the neck would be as important as what went on above the neck. So it became a very uh, creative acting challenge for me because every gesture had to be explored and investigated and every gesture had to uh, say something about the character, it had to inform the audience who this character was. So it meant that I had to do an investigation of the way that the character walked, the way she stood, and where the emphasis would be in the body. Um, and I am a woman wearing armor, so I didn't have to think about making that feminine. What was it like to be on set surrounded by the Star Wars world and seeing all the original cast? <laughs> It was completely insane. <laughs> I uh, could never have expected this. I certainly don't think I ever dreamed it. When I heard that those three iconic cast members were going to be back in the Star Wars films, I mean, everyone just breathed a collective sigh of relief and a scream of joy. Um, 
and and they've been so warm to me and so encompassing. The whole the whole production, everybody in the crew, all the creatives, JJ, Kathleen, all of the actors have been so enthusiastic and so warm about this film and the understanding that everybody loves it and that it means so much to everyone. And it's been a real joy to work on. Uh, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself and, and I, I really couldn't have hoped for a better experience. To that point, if you had to describe your experience making this film in one word, what would it be and why? Mind-bending. Not really one word though, is it? Mm. Might be two. Can I have two? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was greedy of me. <laughs> For you personally, what was the thing you liked best about playing Captain Phasma? What I liked best about playing Captain Phasma was that she felt new. This felt like a different way to see a female character in a movie. It, it felt like a different way for an audience to form a relationship with, with a female character and the fact that that was in Star Wars really impressed me and heartened me because it, it seems like there's been an upholding of those original values of Star Wars, all the things that we love and we hold dear, but it's been brought right up to date and into the modern day in a way that everybody really seems to be applauding. Hey guys, now the trailer for my big fat Greek wedding too is already out, but did you know that despite pulling in over 240 million, the first my big fat Greek wedding never once topped the US box office chart? Hmm. Now for this and more movie facts, click on more videos, but if you want something different, click on the playlist. <laughs>